गुड डे एवरीबडी ई एम डॉक्टर श्रीनिवास महेश प्रसाद कंसलटेंट नेफ्रॉलॉजिस्ट फोर्टिस हॉस्पिटल बैंगलोर टुडे आई विल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट हाइपर टेंशन इन यंग वी कॉल इट आज हाइपर टेंशन वेन एवर दि ब्लड प्रेशर रीडिंग इज मोर दैन वन फोर्टी बै नाइंटी वन फोर्टी बीइंग सिस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर एंड नाइंटी बीइंग डायस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर एंड इट इज मेजर्ड इन यूनिट्स ऑफ एम एम हेच जी दैट इज मिली मीटर ऑफ मर्क्यूरी so hypertension in young we tell it when the patient uh, is uh, hypertensive and is less than 40 years of age the risk factors of hypertension are uh, diabetes uh, obesity lack of exercise stress especially in uh, high tech hubs like bangalore where there is lot of stress and also uh, there is heavy load of traffic so all this can predispose to hypertension and also some uh, whenever the patient is having uh, anxiety issues and also uh, has uh, some family predisposition all this can be a risk factors for hypertension so it's very important uh, to know the symptoms of hypertension first and foremost i would like to enlighten the most of the uh, uh, hypertensive patients are completely asymptomatic and those who develop symptoms they might have uh, some headache blurring of vision and uh, swelling of legs uh, difficulty in breathing and while walking as well and patient can have recurrent headaches and uh, so so on and so forth hypertension is broadly broadly classified into primary hypertension and secondary hypertension primary hypertension we call when there is no exact cause can be found out secondary hypertension we uh, is like uh, there is hypertension but it is not the uh, disease uh, on its own but there is some underlying disease which is causing hypertension secondary hypertension in the sense it is a consequence of the underlying systemic disorder in our body so what are the causes of secondary hypertension so secondary hypertension is very uh, common in uh, young individuals so most commonly it is uh, renal parenchymal diseases and uh, renal uh, renovascular uh, causes as well and uh, there are some drugs which can predispose to hypertension like amphetamine cocaine which are uh, um, uh, drugs of abuse and also nsaids and some patients on hormonal therapy and there are endocrine causes as well like uh, thyroid issues and also imbalance in the hormones that regulate um, sodium and potassium in our body so so and so forth uh, other uh, high hormonal imbalance can also cause uh, hypertension obstructive sleep apnea syndrome is uh, increasingly um, identified as a cause of hypertension and uh, uh, whenever the patient is having uh, narrowing of aorta that can also lead to um, uh, secondary hypertension so uh, diagnosis of secondary hypertension uh, would be like uh, whenever the patient with uh, age less than 40 years and is having hypertension uncontrolled so we would like to evaluate the patient thoroughly to rule out all secondary causes of hypertension like we would get uh, ecg 2d echoes and also we would uh, evaluate uh, his uh, kidney functions uh, we would uh, send the patient for uh, urea creatinine electrolytes and uh, urine routine urine pcr and we would uh, screen the kidneys as well and um, very basic test uh, we would uh, evaluate for his uh, thyroid um, levels also coming to the treatment part uh, whenever the patient comes to us with hypertension we would uh, control the blood pressures first uh, with uh, some calcium channel blockers or beta blockers and evaluate the patients uh, thoroughly for the underlying uh, root cause of hypertension in young individuals so the treatment of hypertension would be the treating the root cause of hypertension so if for example if patient comes to us with uh, some renal dysfunction which is causing hypertension we will uh, evaluate the patient to uh, find out what is causing uh, renal dysfunction in him and if we treat the patient accordingly uh, we can actually reverse the hyp- uh, hypertension and uh, slowly withdraw uh, many uh, medications we have put the patient on so it's very important uh, for all the young individuals to get evaluated thoroughly because hypertension is not a disease in young individuals rather it's a consequence and it is very important to consult your doctor and also specialist uh, like a nephrologist or endocrinologist who would uh, actually uh, rule out all the secondary causes 
um and please don't neglect um, if you are younger than uh, 40 years and is diagnosed to have hypertension thank you